You see it on your screen? Like if you look on... Yeah, I am. <laughs> I don't get it. What? <laughs> You ready to do this? I'm ready to do this. Let's do this. I'm the JP Todd. And I'm the redheaded stepchild. And we are the insane geeks. So this is what? Second to last week of February? No, last week of February. This is last week of February. Yeah. Also, We're our actually, 45th episode. No. No. No, no. We're recording this the last week of February. But by the time this comes right, out. It comes out first week of March. Yeah, so this will be the first March show. So, happy March, everybody! Yeah, forget that love month. Literally, first day. Yeah, first day of March. Look yeah, at look at that. Yeah. Happy March! Yeah, happy March. <laughs> um, so a lot happened this week, you know. Did you see the like machine what? trailer? I the haven't seen one? the full, the new one, the full trailer. I guess. Oh my gosh, dude! Mark Hamill is great in it. He plays Burt Kreischer's dad. You're joking. I am not. It's so good. Oh my god, I was, I was dying of laughter. And oh I'm surprised god. by how good Burt of an actor Burt is. Like he's an amazing actor. Surprisingly. When's it come out? Uh, May, I believe. May. Yeah, I can't wait to see that movie. That's no, gonna be a great uh, yeah, movie. I'm going. Yeah, I'm so going. It's I a have... Netflix show. No, it's not. It is. No, it's not. It's coming to theaters. Okay, I could have swore. I, s- no. I could have swore he said it was a Netflix. I could have swore the preview I saw. That it was in Netflix. No, oh. only on Netflix. But well, I could be wrong. Yeah, no, it's coming to theaters. Okay. So, yeah, it's going to theaters in uh May, and I can't wait to May. go see it. I'm so excited for that fucking movie. It looks like the interview a little bit. How? Just a little bit. Because Russia, you know, he's having to fight people in Russia, and I mean, oh no, I know in the interview it wasn't Russia. But like it no. has that vibe of just someone who's definitely out of their depth with this very who <laughs> should not, you know, that has that vibe. Now, do you think this one's gonna be funnier than the interview? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Not no question. No question. Now why is that? Bert Kreischer is funnier than uh than uh James Franco. One hundred percent. I I will hundred percent give you that. That's why. Okay. What about Burt Crusher versus Seth Rogen? Who's funnier? De- Ooh. Depends on the scenario. No, no. Got to pick. If I had to pick one, I would say Burt Crusher. Okay. If I had to pick, because only because like Seth Rogen seems like, you know, he's like, he's, he's funny, but he's like chill. Like he's like, where Bert's gonna he's gonna make you laugh. He, he, no matter what, he's gonna make you laugh. Like it could, he's gonna do it. You know, where right. Seth Rogen feels like, you know, it's kind of like it comes and goes. You know, he's he's, he's sometimes he's, most of the time he's just chill, you know? He's chill, he right. laughs, he, he just has a good time, you know. Where Bert Bert is, like, is definitely out of his the way. party guy. Yeah, where he goes out he's of like, his I'm, way. He's like, oh, I'm gonna make laugh it her laugh. It's gonna great. Yeah, it's gonna be great. We're having fun. We're gonna have fun. <laughs> right. Oh, you want to do this? Let's fucking do this. Yeah. <laughs> He's the anticipation of yes, man. <laughs> yeah. You want to do it? Fuck it? Let's do it. Let's do it. Man. Will that be good content? Let's do it. <laughs> uh, I can't. Uh, I've been thinking about this recently, but I think Bert is kind of how, why I'm so motivated because um, cause of Bert the Conqueror. Because that was the oh. first time I saw someone on TV who looked like me and I was like, oh, wait. Like who look, was like a fat guy and he was rolling coasters, roller coasters for, for money. And I was like, what? 
<laughs> I hate roller coasters. <laughs> so does he. And I was, I was, uh, I, I loved that. And I think that as a kid was one of the things that brought me to where I'm at now in my mindset when it comes to things like that. Yeah. That, that was actually, that was one of the reasons why I had you watch it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That you was, know? uh, man, I love, I love Bert. I can't wait for that movie. I can't either. But yeah, Mark Hamill I mean, plays his dad, and it's fucking great. Any other fucking secrets that I don't know about? Of who's in it? Um, I can't think of anyone else who's in it. That's not very helpful. I know. I It's blanking on me right now. I just can't think of anyone who's in the machine trailer. All I think about is... Yeah, the only one I could that, think of that, is that, Bert. That's not a lot Mark. of thinking. That's pretty oh, blank. It's, it's, it's pretty blank, but it's there. You know, it's there. Well, speaking of somebody with a big belly and looking like us with big bellies, I figured out my belly tattoo. What's your belly tattoo? Oh, please tell me it's a Buddha. It's not a Buddha. It's, it's a, a Krang. Krang. <laughs> that's not so disappointing anymore. That's that's a pretty good belly tattoo. I can mix the fat stretch marks in with his brain weaves. That's smart. <laughs> right? I got it from the guy last night that I was doing some video work for. Really? Yeah. He said that's... him and his friend were going to do that to his belly. And I'm like, dude, that's a great idea. I'm stealing it. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Holy shit. No, yeah. Uh, I think Get my first whole yellow be belt Superman thing right here. Okay, Q. <laughs> no, it's not going to be it's not going to be the uh, Kingdom Come one. I think it's going to be going to be going to be Henry Cavill. I think it's just no. No, I don't, I've never liked that one. I'm never been a big fan of that one. Um I think it's going to be the uh just it's going to be a classic one. But I think I'm going to go with more like the Death of Superman one, where it's just the red. The red with the bleeding? Yeah. No, no, no. Not the red with the bleeding. Just the red. Before he died. You know, the one with just the red. Okay. Where, where it's black, though. Where I was going to, like, give it a black outline. So kind of like Connors. Kind of, yeah. You know, and even so, that's why I want it right here. Because in what? Young Justice, Connor would put patch, Superman patches on so he'd be able to fly. It was like his drug. Hey, Lex Luthor, his dad, ha- his half dad, came up to him and was like, "Hey, I'm your dad. Uh, I'm gonna tell the entire team, and they're gonna like betray you because I'm Lex Luthor, so they're gonna hate you." And he was like, "But he was meeting up with his dad because you know Superman was just like, ah, uh, fuck you. I'm not. Superman was just completely not ignoring him. He was like, you 'You're not my son. Just no, nope. nah. He just <laughs> walked away. So you know, he felt very abandoned by him, and then uh." When he felt abandoned, uh, Lex Luthor came and was like, hey, what's up? And gave him these patches that made him to be Superman, and they were in the shape of the Superman logo. And so that's kind of why I'm putting on my shoulder, is because those patches gave him strength, the strength of Superman. They unlocked all of his Kryptonian abilities. So that's kind of why I'm putting uh, it there. So in a way, uh, okay. yeah, kind of a lot like Connor, actually. Well, there you go. Yeah. Oh, why don't you make it like, well, no. I want to get, you know, a tattoo I want to get? I want to get a tattoo that's like a patch. That what, looks like what, a patch. What kind of patch? But, but like a a worn down patch. Like it's been tattered and it's been worn down. Okay, but a patch know? of what? That I don't know yet. Okay. I want to get my, uh, Matt, I want to get my last name tattooed on mm-hmm. my back in the Metallica font. <laughs> like it's a tour shirt. And then I want to get people that are, Close to me, labeled <laughs> under it, with their birthdays under it, with their birthdays next to it, as if it's their tour date. <laughs> That's great. I've wanted That's this for a great years. idea. I want to get a. Uh, I want to get the um. Group nine three five logo. This is see. This is this is where I've been in contention with this. I want to get the group nine three five logo from zombies tattooed on me somewhere, but it's uh-huh. like technically a nazi group you know like it's like from a video game 
but it's technically a Nazi group. I mean, I wouldn't know that was Nazi if I saw it. Well, it kind of has the SS but, logo on it. I mean, a little bit, like a, a a deformed SS logo, but a little bit, a little bit of the SS logo. And why is it a Nazi? Because they're a scientist group that the Nazis kind of like bought out. They were like, "We'll pay for all your science experiments if you." So it's like Hydra, basically. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's basically yeah. You know what? Yeah, it's basically Hydra, except it actually has like. Hell Hydra. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not doing that one. That's Man, I played I Monopoly like... yesterday. That shit is so fun. I know whoa, that whoa, seems wait. like a random uh, transition, whoa, whoa. but uh, hell, uh, on you what? said Hell Hydra, and that reminded me of the board game Hell Hydra that I have. And so when I said that, I reminded me of board game Monopoly that I played yesterday. Ooh, regular. Just okay, regular. so you played the board game. What what version of it? Just regular. Just regular. Regular old Monopoly. And okay, how did that come about? Oh, we went to my uncle's uh party. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. So, uh, did you hear about the it prequel series? I really thought you were gonna go more with that. What do you mean? Okay, well, I mean. <laughs> I know you're gonna go cut so so much so quick to the to the next thing. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting you to keep talking a lot. Played it at my nephew, at my uncle's thing. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> yeah, that's all I said about it. Yeah, just well, there. Um, but that's yeah, that's all I had to say about that. <laughs> did you hear, did you hear about the Welcome to Dairy series? I did. And what do you think about it? I'm interested. Because in the movie, it it talks about how this is not the first time this entity has come to Derry. Which one? The original. Okay, well, it's not connected to the original, though. I've never seen the... uh, No, it's supposed to be... It's connected to the new one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's with Bill Skarsgård's It. We we don't know if he's going to make an appearance. But again, it'd be weird if he didn't, though. If it is anyone else besides Bill Skarsgård, get the fuck out of here. That guy is. Is it Bill or his brother? Huh? Is it Bill Skarsgård or his brother? The other Skarsgård. You know who his brother is, right? There was one that was in the Northman. I love that movie. Okay. But. I can't remember his first name, but his last name, Eric Solvig. His brother is not Eric Solvig. From Marvel? The guy who plays Eric Solvig in Marvel, his last name is Skarsgård. The same one. We'll see about this. (laughs) See? He's their dad. See? Yeah, I'll be yeah. down. No, I'll be down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's Alexander See? Skarsgård, Bill Skarsgård, Gustav Skarsgård. What? Okay, wait. Oh my God! What was in my? What is going on right now? I know him too. I know this entire family, dude. What? What is going okay, on? You're gonna here? have to explain to me who's so, who now. Gustav Skarsgård. You have you ever seen the show Vikings? He is Lafi, mm. the, like the. The like spindly one, you know. I've only seen one episode. Okay, he was the one. Episode. He was he was in that episode. He was the one that was. I don't remember. It. Well, okay, I did. Well, I saw it when it first came out. Anyways, he was he's that guy. Okay. All right, Alexander is the one from the Northman. You know the main guy. Which, if you haven't seen okay. it, see that movie. That's fucking good. I haven't seen it yet. That's a good movie. Has a. I want to see it. Anna Taylor Joy in it. Ah, oh, that's not her name. Ah. Oh. And it has Alexander Skarsgård? Yes. Where Which Bill is Skarsgård the... is, is, you know, Pennywise. And also, what's his name from Deadpool 2? Yeah, there's so many more Skarsgårds. My gosh. Wow, okay. 
There's like Talk Sam Skarsgård, Walter Skarsgård. Just so many. What a talented it's family. A, what a right? talented family. Jesus Christ. What a powerhouse. I mean, they all look great. They're all amazing actors. Like, no matter if they like got their way into Hollywood, they're amazing at it. Like, they they deserve to be there. You know, it's right. It's crazy. Jesus. Talk about lineage. There's Talk about this... skills being passed down. Okay, I'm sorry, go ahead. Right. Uh you know head PE, right? Yeah. They they just put out a new CD. Okay. Called uh 70s hits from the pits. 70s hits. Yeah, 70s hits from the pits. Okay. Which is all like remakes. Okay, of songs it's got uh Margaritaville. It's got I fought the song? law. Yeah. Okay. It's got stuff like Fire and Rain, A Horse with No Name. You know, I want to be sedated, pretty vacant from the Sex Pistols. Wow. That's crazy. It's, Holy shit. It's actually a dope ass CD of good cover songs. Really? They did really well on them. Okay. I'll have when to check they it first out. announced it, though, I, at first I was like, how are you going to do these song, do cover songs with your voice, homie? Yeah. <laughs> Their music, okay. nowadays music hasn't been good. This is actually, exactly. But this is actually pretty good. Okay. So uh, that's why I had to bring it up, because I was surprised about how good this was. Yeah, I mean, yes, it does sound like head PE, but it sounds like, like, it could have been, uh, only in America's, and back to basics, style of head PE, you know, yeah. old school head P, head PE, when they were good, you know? right? Yeah. So there's that. Okay. We were also talking about uh, doing shorts, right? Yeah. And so uh, I was looking because what I was about to talk, what I'm bringing up, I had dropped on the floor over here. Huh. But one of the things of shorts I was thinking about doing was, you know how back when I was doing TRSP radio? Yeah. And I had snack time? Yeah. Well, I'm thinking about bringing snack time back as a short to put on the channel. Oh, like we used to do, like a, a lunchtime at the asylum or some shit like that. We had used to right, do? but it's just like if I find just random stuff, yeah, I'm gonna make a snack time about it. Okay, have you had that Peeps Pepsi? No, but speaking of Peeps Pepsi, what the fuck? My very first snack time. You're saving that, right? You're saving that for when we come. You come down, right? You're saving that for when you come down, right? I mean, I, I, I mean, you want to do the snack time with me? Fuck yeah, I want to do the snack time with you. Okay, well, um... fucking Dr. Pepper, <laughs> let's go, baby. That's another thing to shoot while you're down here. Sorry for the clapping, guys. I know it was a little loud, but what actually saying... it wasn't. I didn't even hear you clap. Oh, well, that's good. I'd probably cut it out. That's going to be weird for the yep. video. People who are like, he just clapped. But there was no sound. That's <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. It but the audio the people are like, he clapped? Yeah. They're going to be so confused about this conversation. Uh... <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> you hear that one? No. Fuck, that hurt my hands. Okay. Uh, so how long has it been since you watched the Arrowverse? Uh, last oh, time. just so you guys know, it was Dr. Pepper Peeps. No. Oh, yeah. The, for the people didn't that say didn't it. Yeah. see it. See. Yeah. But if you want to see what it looked like, check out our shorts on YouTube, Spotify, and now on TikTok. Yes. Yeah. Also. Instagram. Are you? Instagram. Yes. We're going to put... Our main shorts are going to be on YouTube, but we're going to, they're also going to go through all our channels. Yeah. Which will try to so, lead you back to YouTube, which will lead you to this podcast and anything else we have d going in the future. Yeah. So 
hit that hey, like and subscribe button. Share so us. You know. So your friends know to remind you about it. Look, you don't have to tell everybody. Okay. Just tell tell you what. Keep it simple. No, no, five no. people. Tell everybody. Five tell people. Everybody. No. Don't just be a... tell five people. And the, and those five people will tell five more people. And they get don't they don't have to tell everybody. Just tell five people. We'll be cool with five people. Nah, you'll be lazy if you tell five people. Tell everybody you know. You see, we're crazy. All right. We can do crazy stuff here. But five will be fine. <laughs> five will be fine. If you do less than five, you can't even hear this podcast right now. It just stops right. automatically right here. Just, just boom. See? Now, if you're hearing this, you shared five without you knowing. Even if it's just in your mind, you did. See, I'm spinning in a circle here. You're supposed to stop me before I got this far. Now I don't know where to go. I was spinning a web. And I was it wasn't just, stopping. I was gonna let you go because you're going good. I was thinking, I was hey, going. I got some, I got some great editing I can throw in right there. <laughs> so how long have you seen the Arrowverse? The Arrowverse was last time I saw Arrow. No, Flash, and what's her name? Just got out of the mirror world. Okay. That's about the same time I stopped watching the Arrow first. Anyways, Flash is on its final season, is it not? Yes, it is. They brought in a character from the comics called Red Death. I've heard of this. It's a Batman character, right? It is a Batman character. It's a Batman character from the Dark Multiverse, which is the multiverse, except it's everything bad. Right. So he's the he's the Batman from the universe who killed the Flash and took his powers because he was too slow to save his fam, the Bat family. Okay. So he killed the Flash and took his speed. Okay. And now he's in, the, and now he's the main villain for a thing, right? It's Bruce Wayne, but in the Arrowverse, it's not Bruce Wayne. It is uh, the second Batgirl, Ryan Wilder, uh, from uh. Batgirl. I mean, Batwoman. Okay. It's the second Batwoman from Batwoman. Ryan Wilder. Played by okay. Miss Leslie. So she's the Batman that's going to be the bad guy. Yeah. Which, honestly, I like the way it ties into the Arrowverse. Like, it just, it does, they don't like, okay, we've never had a Bruce Wayne, so we're just looping it around with, now it's Batwoman. That's lazy? Is it lazy? That's lazy. It's the final season of Flash, dude. It's not even that good. Like, just let it the, fine. You want to tie it in? Just wrap it up. Don't they give probably, me another plot They hole. probably had her for another a contract for so many episodes of a show. Hey, she better. You know, it's better than what she probably to help with that contract. It's better what happened, back, girl. This must be her consolation prize. You could be the bad guy of the last season. Oh, come on. It's not like that. Come on. It's good. It's good. I'm excited that they tied it into the Arrowverse. Like, they looped up that show that just got canceled after two seasons. They were just like, no more. And that they brought in another Batwoman from se- season one had a different Batwoman. Then they brought in a different Batwoman, and she didn't even right. play. So I'm glad that they wrap it up with, you know what, now she's the bad guy because, you know, I'm not watching it, so I don't know why. But I'm, I'm, I am I'm think it's an interesting way they took it. Like, you know what would have been funny? It may because they have, one they have to d- fucking explain the dark multiverse. Then they have to explain Bruce Wayne and all of that shit too. Fuck that. Just make it bad woman. That makes make so much sense. You know what would have been funny? What if they would have done the Cassandra Kane from the Bat Woman from the Bat Girl movie? There, kiss, what? That was. I, I think Kane. that was that wasn't her. No, Cassandra Kane's a whole different character. No, no. Cassandra Kane was in Birds of Prey. Okay, well, she was the never mind girl who had the diamonds in her. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I got the name wrong then. No, no, uh, I, th- I think you're right. Pretty sure you're right, but she was Barbara Gordon from the movie. Barbara Gordon, yeah. Okay, that's the main back girl. That's main back. I don't know why I thought Cassandra Kane. Well, she's a Batgirl. Just not the main Batgirl. I mean, depending on... Well, know, the yeah. one that was the one that was playing or 
that was going to play in the movie that it was Brandon Fraser was in. Yeah, fucking love Brandon Fraser. I love that guy. No, it, what I was saying was it'd been funny if that was the girl. I don't think it would have made sense. Who said it needed to make sense? The story, it just, man. It just it just needed to be a bat person, right? No. It obviously needs to make sense in the story of the context in context of the story. Well, they could write the story. I'm talking about just the person that was playing that Batman. Yeah, but why would we make would've... it another Batgirl? Why would we add another Batgirl? You just I said mean... it was a Batgirl. Yeah, it's not a different Batgirl. It's one we already had. Why would we add it's a one... third one? She... She... It's not a Batgirl. It's a Batwoman. There's a difference. There are two different characters. Don't they are two different characters? You cannot roll your eyes at it. They are two specifically different characters. One is black and yellow, and sometimes blue, and one is black and red. Always right. One is a police detective, and one is the detect police de- uh, commissioner's daughter. Co- two completely different characters. There is no rolling yes. your eyes at that. <laughs> you cannot well, be just I'm, like what Whoa. I'm rolling my eyes at is you said that. Since we don't have a Bruce Wayne, yeah, we've never had a Bruce you know, Wayne. Why add in Bruce Wayne when we've never had one? Who we've said Bruce had... Wayne? You. That's what I'm saying. Okay, because well, the Batgirl didn't get her shine, get her day and light at all. Well, maybe she still will. Never said that she's no, done being Batgirl. That is never happening. Mm, I don't know. Is if James Gunn says it's unwatchable, James Gunn didn't say it's unwatchable. Yes, he did. No, Peter Sandfriend said it was unwatchable. I heard James Gunn said it was unwatchable. Well, you're wrong. Or maybe you didn't hear that. Mm, no, I'm the DC guy. I heard it right. I mean, I could pull it up. I'm I'm so confident. I'll pull it up this time. You taught me that if I'm confident in it, Let's fucking make a bet on it because I fucking fucked that I Frankenstein bet up and I have I will never <laughs> do it again. <laughs> never again. Uh, <laughs> oh, you'll never forget that, will you? <laughs> nope. Hmm. Let's see your Batgirl's unwatchable. We'll see. Uh, uh news. Here we go. D Studios doubles down on Batgirl being terrible. Batgirl was not releasable, says DC co-chief Peter Sanfran. Okay. Look up what Peter James Sanfran. Gunn said about that. Said about it. Okay. What did James Gunn say about DC's Batgirl? James Gunn on Batgirl. Newhead say canceled Batgirl film was not releasable, but he never specifically said that. Peter Sanfran did. Yeah, quoted Peter Sanfran is saying at the presentation on the Batgirl front, it is not about late in the process of filming getting canceled. I saw the movie and there's a lot of incredibly talented people in front of and behind the camera on that film, but that film was not releasable and it happens sometimes. That film was not releasable. I actually think that presidents and CEO, oh, Zasloff and the team made a very bold and courageous decision to cancel it because it would have hurt DC. It would have hurt those people involved. Peter Sanfran. <laughs> wanna wanna argue with me on DC again? Okay. I'll just throw I'm down wrong. my encyclopedia. <laughs> <laughs> Let's fucking do this. Okay. Um, also speaking of shorts, there's these shorts that I watch this dude who makes these chocolate sculptures. I've seen sent some to you. There was one that he, where he did group. I want to say I sent to you to the group right. chat. Yes. I watched where it makes it. everything out of chocolate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen this. Yeah. Yeah. He's got a show on Netflix called School of Chocolate. Really? Yes. He teaches somebody how to make chocolate sculptures and up their game and and making a level, making something that's not there there like the first episode he was talking about how they have to make 
something without a mold. Like he made a pencil that actually wrote that was edible. Really? Yeah. And they have to do the same thing the without chocolate? a mold. Wouldn't you just have to melt but, the top? Just melt no. the tip of it? and. No, that's what I'm saying. It wasn't like that. Well, how do you put the lead in it? That's just dangerous, right? It wasn't lead. It was chocolate. So it, it was writing in chocolate. See? It was writing in chocolate, but it wasn't like you, you don't want to heat it up. It works like a pencil. Really? That's yeah. cool. Okay, but it was a hundred percent edible. Okay, my mom keeps telling me about this Netflix show. Well, go ahead, finish what you're saying. We'll go back to this another Netflix show. And I was just saying that's a dude you one have to check out. His name is a Murray Gershon. A Murray Gershon. Okay. He's French. But he does like amazing sculpture. He's done just dragons. Unicorns, uh, Groot, he's done a carousel horse, uh, reindeer and sleigh, he's done a mailbox, all of chocolate and cake. But okay. like most of it's chocolate. And like the big sculptures, like they're like solid chocolate. Really? Yeah. But like something like a compass, it's got chocolate around it and it's like a chocolate type cake it's got cake and stuff on the inside and you cut it you have the chocolate layer cake that's oh, getting me hungry now yeah <laughs> i haven't ate dinner man oh but yeah okay cool well then do you got anything else to say oh yeah i got uh i got a couple things so the my mom was telling me about this show called 28 days haunt where they like it's like a reality show where they like blindfold like ghost investigators send them to a random location and they tell them to figure out what's going on with the place that sounds interesting yeah yeah it does doesn't i it? i really would like to try that yeah for real we should watch it or well that's what i meant watch it yeah try it out and see it yeah <laughs> Uh, we'll try it out and let me we'll try it out let soon. me were <laughs> well not that specifically explain. I guess. yeah not like um, 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 try it out try well, out like, the huh. just print out the piece of paper and, like with the picture yeah. on it of the yeah, screensaver just, um, just, um, 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 just eat it that was a good house picture have yes, you ever read paper i have me too okay uh i think everybody has well yeah all right I even as a, a kid bet. yeah i would say it's a fair bet <laughs> uh, did you know Batman 89 and Superman 78 were in the same universe? Yeah. Confirmed by DC. Yeah. Okay. Well, cool. I guess. I read the series. You read the series? Yeah, I have the series. You have both? Yeah. <gasps> Lucky ass. It was, it was a very short run. It How was, was like... uh, 70, Superman 78? It was good as about Brainiac. How good how good was it for like 78 Brainiac? 78 Brainiac. Like how well, Superman 78. Like how did that work out? How did he fight Brainiac? Like how did it feel? It was pretty good. It fit that universe? Yeah. So did they did you did you know that they're crossing over? Wait, what? Next year those two comic book runs are crossing over. Batman 89 and Superman 78 are having a crossover next year. Well, as far as I knew, they were done with them. Nope. They're doing more? Yep. Oh, At least the crossover. Uh, I'm, I haven't... I, it's been a while since I heard about it, but I think so. Oh. Uh, okay. I won't have to get those, too. Jesus. That, that I think three I think, boxes... Think so. comics right now. Oh, really? Yeah. And that one's almost full. Well, it's about halfway. It's getting close to halfway. And that's the uh, magazine box we got. So we're going to have to actually get a real box. Yeah, soon. Right. 
Sorry, I'm trying to figure out if that uh if it actually is um coming off more. Okay. Well, I want that hard cover of those books though. I couldn't find it anywhere, but I want the hard cover of those books. You I haven't seen a hard cover of them. So if you get the hard cover, the bat, if you take off the slip, you know, the little slip thing, it looks uh-huh. like a VHS. Oh, nice. I'm going to have to get one, get that then. Yeah, Damn man. It. Oh, I want the 89 one. Oh, that sucks. You know so what I saw bad. at uh, GameStop today? What? I saw the Harley Quinn pop where she's sitting on the playing cards with the mallet. Uh-huh. And I also saw the penguin for 30 bucks, and I wanted it. The penguin Which and the penguin? Peng- the penguin and the duck, the big pop. oh and the the uh the uh the vehicle pop yeah yes yeah that's exactly I what I was... so bad dad oh my god <laughs> that oh. would that would actually I like that one that was a pretty cool one I never actually yeah. got to see it in person though really yeah I want one of those big Jack Nicholson pops they have one Uncle, they have the big. Uh, Joker ones, yeah. That's fucking crazy. If they come out with a Batman one, I have to get the giant one. I have they had the, the giant first, Bat- the Michael first... Batman. Yeah, they came out with one. You're fucking with me, I know. No, you're fucking with me right now, aren't you? No. You know, what I saw today a fucking collection at Walmart, a collection of DC gingerbread pops. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. I've seen Man, I want that so bad. Yeah. Oh. I was looking at Reebok for some DC shoes too. Oh dude, they got some cool ones that I want to get. That Lex Luthor one A looks lot. fresh as fuck. So That's is that Joker exact... one. The Joker one that rips off and it has the white smile. Fuck dude. That looked good. I like both of those. Fuck, man. You just named the two that I really liked. I want the pump. The Superman pump one? I've had pumps. I don't want pumps. I had pumps but when they first came out. What's the point of them? They don't do anything, right? Uh-uh. They're supposed to make the shoe kind of tighter and snugger on your foot. Okay. Yeah, no, I like the uh, Joker ones. I'm trying to get some nice shoes to go out in. And the Joker uh-huh. one seemed like the best fit for that. <laughs> the Lex Luthor ones look stupid, Joker. and the Batman ones look stupider. That Wait, hold on, hold on. You just said the jo- the Lex Luthor ones Luthor you like. Now you're saying they're stupid. No, I like the Joker ones, but they're not as good the as Lex like... Luthor. No, Lex Luthor. What... I yeah, I like it, but like it's it'd be for like certain outfits. Like I don't like it that much. It, well, be, be, obviously, be it's specific. all green mainly. It's, yeah. it can it's only in the dark. go with certain outfits. Yeah, it's glow in the dark. Yeah, it, but uh, yeah, I like that Joker one. It has the rip off front. Uh, I'm just night out in town. I'm going to dress up as the Joker. Fucking uh, uh, did he did that? Didn't he? He did that for Halloween this year, didn't he? Where he was shooting like a a video for his tequila, where he dressed up as like Heath Ledger's Joker and was just like going around causing chaos. I didn't see it. Oh my god! It was. It must have been Diddy, man. It had to be someone like that. It was. You sure, it like wasn't that. Kanye West. It wasn't Kanye. It wasn't. It was. It was. I. Th- I'm like nine percent sure it was Diddy. Diddy Joker. Let's see if that word collapse up. God, yeah, it was Diddy. It's weird. It's weird to hear it say Diddy because, dude, it's been Puff, Puff Daddy, Puffy. Diddy. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't even know what to call him anymore. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, so is that all you got? That's all I got. Should we send them out with one last thing saying this is going to be the last time it looks like this? It'll be changed around next time. That's correct. Yeah. Next time we should be the, the better. The the video pops up on here for you. 
that's if you hit the like, subscribe, and someone shared this, and you share it, and all that. Comment on how you found us, up. you know? Com just comment. If you have something to say, comment. We, we appreciate it, you know? Yeah, we would appreciate like to know how you. you found us. Exactly. We would love to know. Any information is the best information. Knowing's half the battle. G.I. Joe. And if you disagreed with anything that we said or liked anything what we said, let us know what you liked or didn't like. Yeah, yell at us. Like Call it, us your bitch. You don't, I don't if you know. don't like I don't my care. shirt, talk to me. Let me know. Yeah, exactly. But no one's out. out. G.I. Joe. Next week. Actually, new setups. New setups next week on the podcast. But this week we're we're going down to see Joseph and them, and we're going to do a whole bunch of filming. So there's going to be a whole bunch of stuff coming up. So you and definitely starting, want to hit that bell. And we're going to be live streaming soon. I haven't got an exact date yet. We haven't figured it all out, but soon it'll be within the next month. By April, you we will be streaming. Yes, by, by April. April, definitely. We All because right. we're trying to get through a certain game before a certain game comes out. Yeah, and we're gonna be hitting it hard, but that's not what we're gonna be streaming, as we nope. talked about. Okay, yeah, because we have to. That. But there are those videos thing. will be up on our YouTube. Yes. So and it's up then, and our Twitch channel too. Exactly. We can put them on there too. I don't oh, think yeah. we have one yet, but we will. We will. All right. So we'll see y'all later. Take it easy. Not too sleazy. Bing bing bong bing bong bing bong bong bing bong bong bing bong. I'm playing the banjo. Bing 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 bong bing 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 bong bing bong bing bong bing bong bing bong bing bong bing bong. Or if I was to do it as you as you would say, my olden days. Ding 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 ding. ding. Why is that your olden day? Because <laughs> I'm playing a very old guitar, I can't. Mess, oh. mess it up. All right. Bing 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 bong bing 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 bong bing bong bing bong bing bing bong. I lied. I got three bits of news now. Or four bits of news now. Shit, fuck it. What? I dropped my thing. Planet Nothing Productions. Shame and shame time. Shame and shame channel.